You walk into the classroom and you have no idea what's going on. Welcome to being a cybersecurity student. Hey, how's it going? My name is Grant. I am a recent college graduate. Oh boy. And in today's video, I quickly want to talk about my cybersecurity degree in terms of the curriculum itself, and then maybe some lessons that I learned when you approach your degree, and if you are going to approach your degree. So without further ado, I graduated university from a place called Southeast Missouri State University, which is basically in the middle of nowhere. They have a cybersecurity degree program, which was founded back in the mid 2000s. To get started with the curriculum, what is it that you're gonna learn if you go to Southeast Missouri State? To begin, you have to go through a whole bunch of general studies. This includes English, social studies, biology, and all of your general educations. Now, oftentimes people wonder, is there a lot of math if you're pursuing a degree in cybersecurity? And it really just depends on your curriculum. In this case, there was um, there are several math classes that I had to go through, but there wasn't calculus, which was interesting uh, dynamic within the curriculum that I pursued. So as you go from a freshman and sophomore year, where you're getting those basic classes out, you start transitioning into more of a computer science heavy workload. This includes a lot of computer science classes, such as software engineering, um, data structures, and intro to programming classes. On top of that, you're getting a few uh, elements of networks and networking layered on top of there. So there will be a few classes with an introduction to networks and networking or an introduction to system administration. Once you get into your junior and senior year, you're eligible to take cybersecurity specific classes. There are several classes you have to take as a cybersecurity you know, major. Uh, these include introduction to cloud security, uh, security operations, and um, several other classes. Perfect. So then what's next? I don't know. Dibuda. So that's a basic overview of my cybersecurity degree curriculum program. I'm going to leave a link to the degree map, which shows the specific classes you have to take at this university. Now, with this being said, I want to talk about just a few lessons that I learned throughout my university education. The first one is that you can't really rely on your degree one bit. I'm not trying to be pessimistic here in terms of what you can and cannot learn at your university classes. In fact, I did a video here a few months ago talking about how it's important to do the exercises that uh, you know is involved, let's say, in your homework. I believe that ultimately, what's gonna make you stand out from the crowd and from the set of students isn't your degree, unfortunately. It is the amount of work you put in outside of the classroom. Whether that's you being involved in certain clubs or it's just working on your own side projects. I think that this is a foundational element which is not taught in your first year classes. It's more so just rely on the academic system to perform your work. The next lesson or regret in this case that I had was I didn't get involved in my extracurriculars and clubs enough. So at South Meese, Missouri, there is a regional competition called the Collegiate Cyber Defense Club. It is an organization which groups together universities nationally in the United States, and they compete against each other. So, for example, there would be a group in my class who would consist of special domains and you compete against other people um, with time sensitive tasks, uh, red teamers, and there are several different other elements to this cyber defense club competition. Overall, I didn't get involved in that and I didn't get involved in the computer science club they had at SEMO and I regret that. I think that looking back, I was too focused perhaps on my YouTube as well as my website. My other work that I did on the side and I think that ultimately the thing that I missed out on most um, was I didn't collaborate with other people uh, like I could have, which could have helped me enhance my skills from a team collaboration perspective. GPA doesn't matter. Well, in most cases, it doesn't. In addition to this regret, I also look at grades a bit differently in college. So yes, of course, it's important that you get good grades, and I know encourage you to go get bad grades, but it's important to get good grades the right way. And what I mean by that is, instead of just getting a good grade for the sake of saying you've passed a class, 
try to embrace the learning opportunity presented in that class. This is something I look back on and tell myself, I really didn't do a good job of looking at everything from a learner's perspective. Instead, it was complete this, get a good grade, move on, and you know, say that you did the good in the overall university system. As I sit here and look back at my college years, what I would say is that pursuing a cybersecurity degree can be worth it because it opens doors. It's an HR checkmark and it helps you collaborate with other students and professionals your age. However, there is a lot more to the portfolio that you have to be willing to build to make yourself stand out in the crowd and to score an entry-level position. Entry-level careers are not easy to get. And anyone who tells you otherwise is just, you know, maybe trying to sell you a program, buy my course type thing. Me. I'm just joking. But in all seriousness, I think that entry-level careers are hard to get. And so when you're a fresh college graduate or you're trying to transition into a career in cybersecurity, you have to take a look at what are people looking at? They're looking at the portfolio. They're looking at the person themselves. What are they doing inside and outside the classroom to maybe contribute towards the overall InfoSec community and themselves as a whole? It's a catch-22 in terms of it's not college is not going to get you the job. And unfortunately, that's just not how it is as much anymore. It's going to be, what did you do? And that's the reality of our generation. Getting involved in the CCDC club to collaborate with other students and to compete with other people around the university, that would have been a awesome opportunity for me, regardless of how our university would have done. And I didn't take that opportunity. I regret that. Overall, cybersecurity degrees, they're all going to be different around the world. Choose one that you think is going to suit you nice in terms of pricing as well as the curriculum itself. It really doesn't matter because... It matters about your portfolio. It matters what you're doing outside the classroom in addition to what you're doing inside. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching today's video. I mean, this is just one college student's perspective on things. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, if you haven't, I don't, yeah, I mean, I get it. And uh, yeah, until the next video, have a good day.